why I feel is training. Um, I think a lot of people, when they look for a PT, it depends on a lot of factors, whereas, you know, some people just want to basically look good or feel good or um, have better technique. Uh, for me personally, I wanted someone that could sort of accompany me through the journey through a whole variety of factors. Um, and obviously I wasn't too sure what I was uh, doing or well, getting into when I started, but obviously, you know, the end result is, is paramount, I think, for everyone in the day. And I think that's one of sort of the hardest things as well is that um, you want someone that's fully encompassing uh, as a trainer. Um, you know, you want them to not just motivate you or help you through techniques of sets, you want them to look after your well-being, you know, check in on you. Um, because, you know, it, it's not just about coming in and then feeling good for an hour or, or two whenever you're with a PT. You want to you have them almost, um, you know, through your day-to-day uh, -day life, you know, help, helping you out. Uh, and I think that's really important. Uh, so for me, that's why I chose Fearless. My experience with Fearless Training, I'd, have, I'd gone through a lot of other uh, trainers previously. Uh, well, not a lot, but uh, I, I'd experienced like a, I'd encompassed like a whole variety of different trainers. Not that I was a bad client or anything, but, um, and you know, it, it, it's really one of those things where one of the biggest problems I found previously was sort of, you know, there would be a honeymoon phase with trainers where you know, things were good for the first sort of few weeks and then it kind of, you would get into the same sort of routine over and over again. Um, and you wouldn't really get anywhere, you wouldn't really gain any progress, um, any kind of just wading through water. Um, you know, so when I started, I, I didn't really go in with any expectations with Alex. Um, but, you know, he, he definitely like massively exceeded them because it's really easy to sort of get a client on board and, you know, sort of promise the world to them and, you know, really excite them. But it's another thing to really um, be there day to day to process it with them and, um, and still maintain that level of consistency, um, you know, all throughout, this, all, all throughout your, um, your career and, and through all your training. Like, it's, it's, it's really important. What did I learn to achieve at Fearless? Um, you know, I mean, besides a lot of the cliche ones, like technique and discipline, I think, you know, one of the biggest things about discipline is it, it's all encompassing. It, it's, you need to do it through, through everything you do. Um, and that's just not about having a good technique at the gym and, you know, having um, a good diet. It's, 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 it's sort of a, a whole factor. Mentally, you need, you need to be there. And you need to also look after all aspects of your body. It's not just about looking after what you, know, you put into your body and you know, when you eat, what you eat, how you train, what body groups you train. You, you need to, it needs to be everything involved. Um, because yeah, I, th I think that's the, probably the most important thing I learned is that you really, it needs to be a whole experience and it, it needs to be something that um, if you're going to do something, make sure it's really a part of your life um, because otherwise you're not going to get any results. Would I recommend feelers to others, feelers trained to others? You know, besides the, like, besides the plug, like, obviously, like, I, I definitely would and I have before, like, genuinely. Um, you really, if you want someone that is going to like really care or genuinely care uh, about your well-being and progress, um, like I'd highly recommend Alex. Um, you know, it's he really like in terms of work ethic, like he's probably like one of the best, like and just not and just not not just trainers alone, but like in people, like you know, I really. Um, admire his work ethic because it's so consistent 
um, you know, and it, and it sort of and it rubs off on you, and it and it helps you just in in general because, you know, he's he's really dedicated to it, um, and yeah. So like, if if that's something that you really struggle with, um, I definitely recommend.